All right. Today we're going to talk about reciprocity, and uh, this will help you know your standing in the graffiti culture socially, and it'll uh, something that can also help if you're in business or just in everyday life. The idea is you get back what you put out. So if you put out negativity and shit like that, you're going to get back negativity. And if you put out positivity, you're going to get positivity back. And there's all kinds of this sort of theory or, uh, you know, rule, it overlaps a lot of different things like karma and just different, you know, different theories, uh, around this, this idea. And so I just wanted to get into it a little bit. There's been all kinds of studies that show, you know, that the human brain has this thing where it wants to reciprocate. So let's say you give somebody a gift. There's something in your brain uh, that that makes you want to give that person a gift. And so if you think about, if you look at it on a broader sense, like not thinking about person to person, if you think about it on a, a huge scale, like how you live your life, how you carry yourself, the the idea is that say you're putting out overall positivity and and let's talk about say like the graph culture. If you're, if you're putting all this effort into giving back to the graph culture, there's some kind of cosmic shit that the graph culture is going to want to give back to you as well. So let's say you are, you know, a big time graffiti writer or or it doesn't matter what your standing is, but if you're constantly doing stuff for the culture and you've seen people that do this and, People want to support the things that they do. So, you know, somebody's given given back to the culture, providing different things, whether it's like somebody maintains a wall or a yard or something like that, then the, the local community that benefits from that, they'll support that person. And, you know, if that person comes out with like a T-shirt line or, um, you know, whatever it is, people are going to want to support. People want to give back to those that are giving giving back kind of thing if you put out all this positive energy, then the world's going to want to give positive energy back. So if you really think about it, like the way to get what you want is to give first, but it's tricky because if you do it in a way that you're expecting to get something back, then that turns into more of a manipulation. It's not so much, it's like you have to, you have to change your mindset to want, like, if you're not naturally wanting to do this stuff and let's say you hear this and you're like, okay, and maybe you do a little research and you're like, I want to have my company take off. So we're going to use this concept to our advantage and we're going to give back knowing that people will buy our shit. The problem is like people see through that. There's like some kind of shit in our, in our wiring that There was a time where we didn't have language. So we relied on body language. We relied on like sensing shit and just, you know, you could kind of read vibes off people. And and you, I'm sure everybody has had that thing where like you meet somebody and there's just something that that's not sitting right with you and you kind of don't want to be around that person. And then maybe like me, this has happened and I'm thinking, fuck, am I just being judgmental? that I don't want to be around this person, then a lot of times that that sort of vibe or feeling that you had about that person gets proven right. And uh, my understanding of it is that that's some shit that's in, in our wiring that was like before we had language and before we had all these kind of different social things that we have now. So, I mean, you think about animals, like they're just, they have ways of communicating, but they don't, they don't have the same kind of like social structures as we do. So there's like some shit that's built into us, people and animals and everything to where we can pick up on that stuff. So if you think about it, if you want to use the idea, this, this uh, theory of reciprocity only to, to benefit from it. And it's not like you don't truly want to give, you just want to receive, but you're going to do it under the, uh, this false kind of like giving people, then, then the idea is that it's not going to work. So if you get yourself to the point where you want to give back and that's just what you want to do and you don't care if you get anything in return, the idea is that you're going to get shit back. So like if you put things out with the best intentions, you're going to receive. So, you know, I've had this happen at the shop where somebody will 
will try to do me a favor or something. And I just get this weird feeling like, you know, I think this guy's trying to do me a favor so that he can call in a favor later, you know, and a lot of times that gets proven right. It's like you just pick up on this, this sense that like, they're not really giving back. And like a lot of times you'll see that in advertising and different business stuff where it's like the, the, whatever it is, a promotion or whatever is trying to trick you into thinking like, Oh, we care about you and we're doing this. And, but, but you already, you kind of know that, that they're just doing it to get, to get something from you. So in my opinion, and, and I'm sure a lot of people share this opinion is that it's better to create that mindset and create that within yourself to where you want to want to give back and you want to, you want to put shit out there, put out the positivity, but then you can know you're getting it back. Like there's some stories about business people that went into business in order to, uh, to make a bunch of money. And then they realize, you know, Hey, we got to shift our perspective and just, just try to give back to the, to our customers and just do the best for our customers and try to forget about all that other shit. And then next thing you know, all that other shit that they were thinking about that they were initially driven by is starting to come back to them because of that reciprocity. So what I was thinking about also is like with the climate that we're in now, like it's, I've never seen so much negativity in my lifetime and you have all these people that are, you know, calling each other names and it's this is complete us versus them type of shit going on. And it's like, we can't even have differences of opinions and still be friends, you know, you see all these people on social media saying like, if you're doing this or I, I don't, I'm not even going to get into that. But if you think about this rule of reciprocity, if what you're putting out there is all this negative shit and you're saying like, oh, you know, calling people names because they don't believe the same shit you do or all this like us versus them type of stuff, then you're just putting that shit out and that that's what you're going to get back. You're going to put all this negative shit out. And imagine like in the graph culture too, like, if you're just out there putting out all this negativity, then that's exactly what you're going to get back. There's no question about it. I mean, like it's, it's been proven over and over again that that's how it works. So, I mean, I understand that there's a lot of things that, that are unacceptable, like, you know, blatant racism and shit like that. But there's so many fucking people that are just all over each other's case because they just happen to believe different shit. And it's like, you got fucking supposed news fucking, uh, outlets that, you know, when I, I think like when I was younger, maybe even before my time, but like news was just like, they just told you what the fuck was going on and that was it. And then it was like, you're supposed to make your own opinion. But now it's like fucking, they just show you like just the worst part of something and they don't even like show you the whole shit. And then most people are just taking that as it, as if, it actually happened. And then later you find out like, Oh, they're just showing you this one piece that sounds bad. And then you look at the rest of it and it's like, what the fuck, man, that's not really what the shit's about. And it's like that fucking negativity sells. Or, I mean, I, I know that it gets more fucking clicks and it gets more, all this kind of stuff. So like they're benefiting off of all of this negativity. And, and they is like, you know, I know this is fucking, conspiracy shit that but dude it's fucking really happening like look just pay attention to the shit that's being put out there and how negative stuff is and it's like it's meant to divide everybody and it's meant to like create this this tension between all these different people and it's like there's there's very little reason that we should shouldn't just be able to have somewhat of different opinions and like i said there's like some shit that's unacceptable but the bulk of the negativity out there is just people just fucking all over each other. And it's like, I don't know, it might just be mainly on social media. And it's, you know, even that's kind of a shame. Because if you think about social media, it's like such a, such a powerful tool for for keeping people in touch with each other for for doing business for all this kind of shit. And now it's like, it's recommended to, to not use it because it's so fucking negative. And there's, there's people saying like, Oh, I got off of Facebook and I never felt better in my whole life. And it's like, I understand like Facebook is like a fucking cesspool for that shit. Like I use it for, for business and stuff, but then, you know, like everybody, if you go on there to check your business shit or your fucking Facebook business marketing, whatever the fuck that shit is called. And then I'll, 
find myself scrolling through the timeline and being like, oh, dude, here they, here we go. It's just everybody's just talking shit to each other. Everybody's all pissed off. And so I have to wonder if like we're building up this like huge amount of negative reciprocity. So you keep putting that shit out, like say like all this shit that the 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 news outlets or people in power are putting out there. And it's like most of it is negative shit. So we're absorbing all that shit. And it's like, I think we have this natural tendency to be putting that shit back out there. So it's like, it's just building on top of itself. And, and, uh, I I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Like, uh, it's like, aside from all of the obvious 2020 shit, what I will comment about is I'm seeing that there's more negativity than, than ever before. And it, I don't know. I have to believe that it has something to do with this reciprocity shit. So like, what can we do? I don't know, man. Like, um, put it, put out more positive, positive shit. I, you know, it's crazy too, is like, I've seen it and, and I've, I've heard other people say it that like, you see uh negative shit on the internet and it goes, it goes viral way easier than the positive shit does. I don't, I don't know what the answer is. Uh, obviously like, we could be more positive towards each other in person, but, um, online it's, uh, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. But like, I wonder if also, you know, there's that, that whole thing with, uh, with social media and and people having to doing, be doing more stuff on social media and and more stuff like via zoom and all this kind of shit. You're losing that person to person thing where you'll say something to somebody online that you wouldn't necessarily say in person. So it makes it easier to be negative because there's supposedly no repercussions. But if you really think about this, this whole concept, this, this theory of reciprocity, then there is repercussions to every single thing. So if you're going online and you're just fucking talking shit to people and telling people what they should and shouldn't do and, you know, with your their graph or you calling people toys and all that stuff from your fucking private account and you think like oh you know nobody's gonna know who it is so there's no there's no consequence but there's a fucking consequence man you, you know you're putting that shit out there so that's what you're gonna get back that's what you, can, can you imagine like okay like there's people that you see online that are you know calling people names from a private account and just talking shit and all that kind of stuff. Do you really think that person's living a happy life, enjoying themselves? Like that does not, that kind of behavior does not come from somebody that's, that's feeling good, feeling good about themselves, feeling good about their position. That's, that's coming from a dark fucking negative place. And the more you put it out there, whether or not you get it back, like in a, in a measurable way, you're fucking getting it back because you're putting that shit out there and that shit's affecting you. I guarantee it, man. I mean, it's like, I mean, it has to. Like, if you think about it, like if you sit there and meditate and have like good thoughts and they tend to make you happy, you know, you start to feel good. You start thinking about things that are going well for you, things that have gone well for you. Generally, it feels good to think about that kind of stuff. But then flip it over to where, say you had an argument with somebody and you feel like they were in the wrong or they did you wrong or whatever. Have you ever had that shit where like, You'll spend like a good portion of the day or even like multiple days just going over this argument in your head. I I have I find myself doing this now, like not now, right now, but like in this phase of my life, like I still find myself getting trapped into that. And it's this sort of cycle where the negative just keeps building on top of itself inside my head. Like there's nobody even around. It's just I'm I'm fucking swirling that shit around and and having these back and forth almost conversations with somebody in my own head. So imagine, and I know I'm not the only one. This is not fucking unique to me. I know it. So imagine all of that negative shit that's coming out. And I personally haven't seen a whole lot of it on the street. I know there's a lot of people you know, you got fucking these people shaming people for not wearing masks. And then you got people shaming people for wearing masks. And, you know, you're this if you vote for this and you're that if you vote for that. And it's like 
this constant negativity, everybody just fucking pushing against each other. Don't you think that that shit is building up like in our whole fucking, uh, humanity in general is it's gotta be building up and just fucking stacking on top of itself in the same way that if you start thinking about some petty shit that you had with somebody and it starts just piling on and piling on. Now we have like all of these fucking outlets and every fucking buddy in the world has a voice and it's just a big stack of shit. (laughs) It's crazy. There's no way that it's not fucking us up as a, as a fucking species. There's no way that it isn't. So, and I know I get affected by this all the time. Like a good example is at the shop, you know, we're a graph shop. So, you know, graffiti, racking, scheming, all of these kind of things. This is we as older writers and people that are a little more, I don't know what the word is, a little, you know, on a different mindset would think like, oh, you don't steal from a graph shop. You don't steal from other writers. But this is a graph scene, you know, so there's a lot of people that don't have that same, those same ethics. So over the years, I've had a lot of people either steal from me or try to steal from from me or try to scheme or try to do all this kind of shit. And every time it happens, it, it fucks with me. I'll give just one example. There was a guy that used to come in. He used to come in a lot. We had a really good rapport and, and this was early on in the business. And, uh, you know, he, he wouldn't buy that much, but he didn't look like he had a lot of money. So every now and then I would just be like, you know, he'd buy like one can and I'd be like, Hey, here's a couple fat caps, you know, just, we had a good rapport. And then one day, uh, I noticed a can that I had out was missing after he left. And so I ran the security footage back and, and, uh, he stole it. He kind of did it right in front of me. Cause I, I trusted him. Like, In the graph scene, you know, it's a, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything about it, but so anyway, I was looking him right in the face because I wasn't going to like look this guy up and down that I had a good rapport with. But while we were talking, he's slipping my can in his back pocket, you know, and that's just one example of a bunch of times that shit like this has happened. But every time something like that happens, my mind just switches right into that negativity. And I'm like, fuck all this shit. Like, why am I doing all this shit for people? I, I I let people come in and use my space to, to black book and, you know, put on these art shows and we don't even really expect anything from return in return. We're trying to do all this shit to give back to the culture. And then somebody comes in and does that. And your my mind just goes right to the negative. And I start wanting to pull back. Like every time a black book gets stolen, like we have, Right now we don't, but because of the whole thing that's happening, we can't really have people gathering. But a big thing in our space was that we had black books out and we let people, you know, come in and use them. And of course, like some asshole is going to come in and use the black books and use all the free markers and then steal one of the books. Every fucking time that happens, I shut the black book table down. I'm like, fuck this, man. We're taking the table. We're taking the books, you know. We're not doing this anymore. If these assholes are going to come in and use, use our space for this and then steal from us, like, what's the point? But then like a youngster will come in and go, Hey man, it's cool if I hit the black books. And, and then instantly I switch back and remember like, fuck, that's why I'm doing it for this kid. Like not that asshole that took the book, you know? So it's just an example of how, like you could be on this positive mindset and just really be all about giving back and then you get hit with this negativity or somebody takes something from you or somebody does something to you that maybe you feel like you don't deserve or, you know, something shitty and you could switch over to like, fuck all this shit, man. Like I'm not doing that. What I do love about the graph culture is, uh, I know there's a lot of people that are putting out this negative shit, but for the most part, at least people like that I follow, it seems like a lot of people are just kind of going along business as usual and just doing their thing. So I have hope for the, for the graph culture, not getting like too sucked into all this stuff. But as far as like humanity in general, I am a little concerned. I think like there needs to be a lot more positivity and a lot more, a lot more giving without anything in it, not expecting anything in return. 
but the payoff is that you are going to get what you want. You just have to shift your mindset in a way to where you're not doing it for that. You're doing it because you want, you want to improve things. You want to, you want to put good shit out there. You want to fucking do whatever, like whatever it is, pick something positive to put yourself into, whether it's animal rescue or fucking cleaning up the alley behind your, your apartment building or, you know, fuck, I don't know, man, going and volunteering somewhere, whatever it is. Like, I feel like that shit's going to improve your life because you're going to put out these, these good intentions and these good positive vibes. And that's what you're going to get back in return. So, so maybe just go out there right today, just come up with one simple thing that you can do. That's going to, that's going to help somebody else and just do it. All right. That's going to be it. I'm going to cut in something from cub. If you like the show, if you, if you learn in anything or, you know, whatever, share it, tell some people about it, put it on your stories or do whatever, you know, it really helps, really helps get this shit in front of people. All right. I'm out. So let me just say it like this though. It's like, takes on a whole nother meaning. It's not like, like words have power in a sense, like that word itself, even when somebody says it, they're trying to, to make it, you know, a low punch. Like I want this to, you know, hit him. Like, yeah. Toy. Like, <laughs> it's like are you I, don't, serious? I don't even remember the last time I even said that word. Yeah. Besides like shopping for a gift for like a, a, you know, young kid. So, I mean, it's like, Okay, first of all, you you climbed out of what is it in that Batman movie where he climbs out of that like pit that he has to like you know you climbed out of that pit <laughs> so many years ago, bro. Like that word doesn't even apply to you anymore. Like I so but see what's funny is like the concept of like <laughs> darkness can't survive in the light. It it just can't. Right. Like first of all, someone who's throwing those fucking dark pitches, it's like damn, ooh. Because I can relate to this because it wasn't that long ago that I was in a very dark place and a very dark mindset and very angry and very negative. And there's a lot of people who know me that'd be like, oh, fuck, yeah, you were. So I understand that when those things are flying at you or we're serving them, they're coming from a place that's that's angry and and upset and dark. Like if somebody's on their shit and they're having a good day and they're just about this world and all that, like they'll be coming at you with the with the more mild like criticism like yo check it out homie maybe you should you know try this instead of this like because they're coming from a good place so I, I forget what we started with but it's like somebody who comes at you with something like that it's like yeah man it's all love that's good i, I, I hope you're having a good day though yeah. you're good <laughs> like <laughs> hey you can email me we can talk dog like yeah. <laughs> you know i think that's gonna be my next thing you all right <laughs> yeah you all right yeah bro? is everything good <laughs> like yeah. everything good at home i mean we can yeah. talk all right good. Well. appreciate each and every one of you guys who are supporting the cause and, and continue to spread the love and uh, yeah, stay up.